In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your Zoom links through your Canvas course. There is an advantage to creating Zoom links in your Canvas course rather than in your Zoom app or through your Zoom in the internet, right? Like you want to be able to create your Zoom links to guarantee that only students who are using single sign-on authentication can join your Zoom meetings. And one of those ways is to create your Zoom links inside of your Canvas course. So I'm going to show how to do that now. So I am in a course. I already have my Zoom turned on in my course navigation. If you do not see Zoom in your course navigation, you must first go to your course settings, click on navigation, go down to the bottom, find Zoom, and you want to click next to wherever you see Zoom in the bottom and click enable, and then save. I've already done that for my course, so I don't have to worry about that. But if you don't see Zoom, you need to go to settings, navigation, and enable it, and then save. So I'm going to click on Zoom in my course. And if I want to create a meeting in my Zoom inside of my Canvas course, I just click on Schedule a New Meeting. And then I can create my meeting um, that I want to do. So if I wanted to create a meeting for third hour at the high school, I would do 9.15 a.m. third hour Zoom. And then you can give it another optional description if you want. I'm going to set mine to be a recurring meeting and instead of daily I'm going to set this to no fixed time so I can just reuse this meeting all year if I want to. Um, I am not going to require registration but I am going to make sure my waiting room is turned on and I prefer my video on but I'm going to let my my students choose whether or not to turn their video on or you can require it. It's totally up to you. Um, you probably want to make sure that you check this box that only authenticated users can join and choose psdr3.org which also includes anything um, like students.psdr3.org so we'll include students here um, and then if you choose record meeting automatically you're going to want to record to your local computer um, because we just cannot keep eating up cloud storage space so I would choose local computer and it will actually record that and put it in the documents folder on your MacBook. I am not going to set mine to record. And then you can add alternative hosts here as well. Now you can technically add as many alternative hosts as you want, but whenever more than, so only in a meeting session, um, only someone who's the host and one other alternative host can co-host at one time, but you could have other hosts in here who could technically start your Zoom meetings for you as well. So even if only two people can kind of be host and co-host at once, you know, you may still have three or four people as alternative hosts depending on who is coming into your meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and then that is going to give me um, my meeting information. What I might want to do now if I want to take this link and copy it and put it on my home page or something is I can now I can select that link and I can copy the link address and now if I go to my home page and edit my page. If I do want to put this link on here next to third hour, I could just click my times, use command K to open up your link option here, and then it'll set a target of new window means that students won't leave Canvas, it'll open Zoom in a new tab, and that's what I would recommend if you're going to be doing that. So just, and I, by the way, to do that again, I selected my text, used command K, is a keyboard shortcut to bring up my link option and I paste it in my Zoom link and I set my target to new window. So I'm going to hit cancel on that because I've already done this and just say save. And so now you can see that I have my, my Zoom link there. So that's what I would recommend is to go into Zoom in your Canvas course. You're going to click schedule a meeting and you're going to create your Zoom sessions that way so that um, you kind of guarantee by doing this, it sets it up so that it requires single sign-on authentication as well. So it's just good practice to set up your links this way.